Yo, what is going on, Comfy Gang? It's your boy, Comfy Neat. And today I'm gonna to be trying something different and talking about what, in my opinion, are the top five foods for needs. And the way I'm deciding this is based on several criteria. Uh, I guess the first would probably have to be how, you know, how tasty it is or, you know, how comfy it is to eat. Another would have to be, you know, things like price. And when I say price, it's kind of more like the ca the amount of calories you get per dollar or something like that, like the bang for your buck, basically. And also accessibility and customizability because, well, you know, there's just, you know, if I feel like Neats are probably eating pretty repetitive diets. And, you know, if you're going to be eating the same thing every day or the same few things every day, they have to be customizable so you don't off yourself from boredom and depression from eating the same foods over and over again. But yeah, anyways, let's get to my list of uh, top five meat foods. So anyways, at number five in fifth place, we have um, bread and butter. And I don't know, this probably sounds like a kind of boring food, but um, I don't know, in my opinion, it's a pretty good it's a pretty good uh it's a pretty good snack i snack on i snack on that all the time and um you know you know you can't really go wrong with bread and butter it's it's a classic combination for a reason uh i mean you know even if you have like the shittiest like bread like wonder bread for example just slather some butter on it and it's pretty good and how you customize this is by adding things like jam or cheese or ham or um, I don't know, whatever you want, basically, and, well, I guess that'd be a sandwich at that point, but, uh, I mean, just bread and butter by itself, you know, there's so many types of bread and butter, and, well, I feel like the butter brings out a lot of, like, nice flavors from the bread, like, a lot of toasted notes. Oh, yeah, and make sure to toast your bread. Don't be a degen. Don't just microwave your bread or eat it cold. Toast your bread to get the best experience. But anyways, yeah, that's my number five. Um, at number four, we have boxed mac and cheese. And the reason I'm not just saying mac and cheese is because let's face it, it's too much of a hassle uh, to make your own mac and cheese from scratch, even if you buy store-bought store pasta, because, you know, you have to boil the pasta, you have to make the cheese sauce, like you have to make a bechamel base and then stir cheese into it and then put it in the dish and bake it in the oven by sprinkle cheese on top make it a gratin or whatever um too much work uh box mac and cheese works just fine you know and craft dinner is obviously the go-to choice for me and probably lots of people it's the og mac and cheese and you know you can't really go wrong with the tangy cheesy sauce that comes with the box by itself but where it really starts to shine is when you start to add things to it, like cream cheese, full cream, you know, even half and half instead of milk. Um, and, you know, you add different types of cheeses. You can add sharp cheddar, um, American cheese. Uh, you can crumble in bits of mozzarella or whatever cheese you want for the stretch factor. And the cheese, you know, a dash of ketchup, really customize the flavor profile and just make it good but just eating it by itself you can't really go wrong either you can top it with things too like ham sausage bacon um so yeah I, I the reason i like it so much is because i feel really really satisfied after um eating a whole box and um you know you definitely feel like you eat in a pretty fat portion when you cook up the whole box of craft dinner and then add stuff to it so yeah I really like it for that reason. And also because I really like the, the what's it called? I really like the texture of the fake macaroni that comes in the box. Cause it's kind of like a cross between actual macaroni and instant noodles kind of. So anyways, yeah, that's why I like it. Uh, for number three, we have pizza. And I could easily see this being a lot of people's number one choice because, you know, it's probably a lot of people's just favorite dish in general. Um, and you know, it's got everything in it. You've got the bread base, you got the cheese, you got the tomato sauce or whatever sauce you want to add to it, like pesto barbecue sauce, or just like garlic butter, Alfredo. Um, and, uh, then you get the toppings, which is really where the variation starts to happen. 
and the customizability and just the infinite variety of pizzas out there types of pizza means that you could pretty much eat a different slice every meal and not get tired of it um although i do eventually but a lot of people don't and um you know it's substantial it fills you up it's pretty well priced and you know it's easy to make your own because you can just buy like a supermarket pizza and uh just you know it's like frozen pizza and then add your own toppings and then there's, there's a lot of uh good quality frozen pizzas out there that can act as a base for your customized pizza or you can just order off of pizza hut domino's little caesars whatever or some of the better options out there and uh yeah that's what's number three for me for number two we have chicken tendies and you know it probably sounds like blasphemy because why is it not number one it's the the neat food the national dish of a neat of a neat country if there ever was one but um for me it's number two because there's something that i like more well no shit but um yeah uh well i still put it on the list because i do think it's a pretty good food um because well you get the hit of protein uh from the chicken breast and then it's deep fried which is always great you got the breading got or the batter and then yeah the dipping sauce which is where all the variation comes in there's like a billion types of dipping sauces there's a million types of hot sauces alone and then you have things like the sweet sweet and sour sweet chili barbecue so many choices and um you know it's good to eat as as a standalone dish or you know with like a side of fries or um you know things like that and it pairs really well with your average neat beverage like sodas mountain dew or yeah stuff like that and also i'm just gonna throw in wings and chicken nuggies chicken nuggets because um they're basically kind of fulfilling the same sort of craving the same they're sort of like hitting that same niche basically of like deep fried battered chicken or baked sometimes with sauce and it's just you know a classic you know pairing basically so that's why it's my number two and drum roll guys at number one we have instant noodles and i mean i feel like this should probably be a given or like a giveaway that because i'm asian and uh instant noodles if you guys don't already know is like mac and cheese for asians it's like comfort food and it is definitely my comfort food i've grown up eating it a lot and I don't know i guess i'm pretty biased chicken tendies should be number one but because uh it's just my personal preference that i like it's the noodles but the reason it's such a good neat food is because it's so affordable uh you can buy it at pretty much any supermarket and it's you know there's so many varieties of instant noodles out there uh that vary in so many things like the type of noodle like whether it's thin or thick, whether it's like a wheat based or a rice based one, whether they're fried or they're air dried. And then you have like the soup packets Did I mention the shape of the noodles uh, and whether they're like smooth or like squiggly. And uh, then you have like the soup base, you have the oil packets, the seasoning, and then you have like dry noodles, which are kind of like noodles tossed in sauce or you have like soup based noodles. Yeah, there's, so there's like so many varieties and I just love the texture of instant noodles when they're al dente and although they're not gonna compare to like actual ramen but i don't feel like they're worse i feel like they have their own special appeal because a lot of instant noodles are fried so you have that like nice kind of like kind of like deep fried flavor in the noodle that kind of seeps into the broth and then the broth is usually flavor packed already and then when you add things like meat to it or even just like a poached egg, it just further flavors the soup and just makes it really good. And you can customize it any way you want. Um, you can add meat to it, add veggies, add mushrooms. You could turn it into like a stir fry. You could turn it into like a pot, like a fake pasta dish. You could make like a ramen burger. Um, so many options out there, but really the, it's just so convenient to make. That's the thing too. It's, it's probably like the easiest thing on this list to make uh 
it's probably even easier as easy as just like ordering a pizza and it's way cheaper too so just for all these reasons combined working in tandem that's why i would have to rate instant noodles as the top neat food and i'm sure a lot of you agree with me um some honorable mentions would have to be you know i don't know i guess like burgers or like hot dogs Spam. Um, I know a lot of people hate spam, but I personally really love spam because I grew up eating it and, well, I'm Asian and, you know, I, oh yeah, and I didn't mention like any dessert items like ice cream or cookies because I feel like that deserves its own separate list. Maybe like top 10 neat snacks or something. So anyways, yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this content. Uh, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below if you did. And uh, anyways, this is Comfy Neat, signing out.